7.1 angles of polygons. The polygons below have been formed using triangles. Use your knowledge of the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle to determine the sum of the measures of the interior angles of polygons. The prefix poly means many and gon stands for an enclosed figure. So this is a many-sided figure. So even a triangle, a three-sided figure, is considered a polygon. So we're talking about a pentagon here. And if you notice, if you draw from one vertex to each of its opposite vertices, it splits it into one, two, three triangles. Each of these triangles has the a sum of one of them, you know, of whatever one triangle has. So recall that the sum of one triangle is 180 degrees. So this is going to be 180 degrees, another 180, and a third 180. So 3 times 180 is going to give me a total sum of degrees inside of there as 540 degrees. Okay, here's a hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles. So 4 times 180 degrees. And that is going to be 720 degrees. And then this is a heptagon or a seven-sided figure, and it's got one, two, three, four, five triangles. So five times 180. Five times 180 is 900. Now let's look and see if we can see a connection. So a pentagon is a five-sided figure, a hexagon is a six-sided figure, and a heptagon is a seven-sided figure. Do we notice a pattern between the five and our calculations, a six in our calculations, a seven in our calculations. What you might start to notice is that if it's a five-sided figure, how many triangles does it create? It creates two less than the amount of sides. Five minus two is three. A six-sided figure minus two is four, four times 180. Seven-sided figure minus two is five. So as you might know, or as you might guess, there is a pattern to this that we can use in all cases. So the sum of the measures of the interior, so on the inside, the sum is the addition. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex, meaning it, it points out on all, to all of the vertices, of what we call an n-gon, n standing for the number of sides, is n minus 2 times 180. So you always take the number of sides, subtract 2, and multiply times 180. This is true for any uh, figure that has any number of sides. You can uh, put any number in this spot. So say you wanted to talk about a 22-sided figure. You could call that a 22-gon, and you can figure out how many degrees, how many measure of angles there are inside the total sum of all the corners of that type of uh, polygon. So let's do the examples here. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the figure. So first we need to know what kind of figure it is by asking ourselves how many sides does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an eight-sided figure, so if we follow the pattern, the number of sides is eight minus two times 180, or eight minus two, eight, seven, six, six times 180, and six times 180 is 1080. So 1080 degrees. In the figure below, what is the value of x? So it's in three corners, and I know one of them is 45 degrees, but again, we'd like to know what kind of figure this is. One, two, three, four. It's quadrilateral. Four minus two times 180. This is one you might even have memorized. Four minus two is two times 180. So how many degrees are there in this quadrilateral? 360 degrees. Now that I know that there's a total of 360, this is my total, I can use that to write an equation. 1x, 2x, 3x is plus 45 is going to be a total of 360. x plus x plus x plus 45 is going to be a total of 360. 
So 3x plus 45 equals 360. Minus 45, 3x equals 315. Divide by 3, and x equals 105. So always get your total degrees first, and then write your equation set equal to your total. Okay, so when we're talking about polygons, multi-sided figures, we use prefixes to talk about them. So is there such thing as an enclosed one-sided polygon? <laughs> no, that would be a line. How about a two-sided polygon? Nope, that's just a ray. It doesn't make it close up. It just makes a ray. But then you can close up a three-sided figure. We call it the triangle, but the prefix is tri. We call it a triangle, not a trigon. Uh, you could call it a trigon if you wanted to, but we call it the triangle. A four-sided figure, the prefix is quad. We call it a quadrilateral. Not a quadgon. <laughs> you could call it a quadgon, but it's quadrilateral. A five-sided figure is a penta. And we do call it, that, <clears throat> that's not an apostrophe, just a little mark, but it, we do call it a pentagon. So at the... Uh, at five sides, you do start calling it whatever it is with gone attached to it. So pentagon. Six is called a hexa. Hexagon is a six-sided figure. Seven is a hepta. Heptagon. Eight-sided fig figure is octa. Or an octagon or an octopus. <laughs> octopus, not a not a polygon, but octa meaning eight. Eight is, or I'm sorry, nine is nana, a nonagon. Ten-sided figure is a decagon. Eleven-sided figure is called a hendeca. Hendecagon. And twelve, my very favorite word of almost all of math. Dodeca, a dodecagon. So these prefixes, you should start to memorize these one through 12. There are prefixes for sided, uh, sides larger than 12. These are the ones we're mostly going to work with, but uh, there are prefixes for uh, polygons above 12. If you get above that, let's say you get into the 17 sided figure. Most of the time we just call that a 17 gone. You don't need to call that with its prefix. You can just call it a 17 gone if you choose. All right, let's try some more examples. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the indicated convex polygon. So an octagon is an eight-sided figure, eight minus two times 180. We already did this one. Six times 180, which is 1080. How about a 15 gone, 15 sides minus two times 180. And you can type all of that into your calculator, you know, just all at once. So 15, 14, 13, so 13 times 180. And then that's 2,340 degrees. How about a 24 gone? 24 minus two times 180. 24, 23, 22, 22 times 180, which is 3,960 degrees. Okay, let's try something new. The sum of the measures of the interior angle. So the total of a convex, convex polygon is given. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So if it's got 900 degrees on the interior, I know it's going to be smaller than an octagon. So it's, uh, but I know it's going to be bigger than probably the four-sided figure because we saw that that's 360. So which polygon has the sum of 900 degrees? Of course, you could guess and check, or you can use your pattern to work backwards for your number of sides. So you leave it as a variable, n minus 2 times 180, that's the pattern, is equal to a sum of 900. Now, if you divide both sides by 900, 900 divided by 180, so n minus 2, 900 divided by 180 is 5. And then plus 2, 
n equals 7. So a heptagon has a total sum of 900 degrees. Let's try another. n minus 2 times 180 equals 1620. I'll write it out on this one. Divided by 180, divide by 180. So then you get n minus 2, uh, 1620 divided by 180 is 9. Plus 2, so n equals 11, a hen decagon. 2,880, n minus 2 times 180 equals 2,880. Divided by 180, n minus 2 equals 16. Plus 2, n equals 18. Whoops, not 180. Whew. n equals 18. An 18 gone. All right, pause this video and try this example on your own. Find the value of x in the diagram. It's a four-sided figure. I could do it again, four minus two times 180, which I know is two times 180, which is 360 for our total. So then we're gonna do 108 plus 121 plus 59 plus x equals 360. Add those together, so x plus 288, when you add those together, equals 360, minus 288, x equals 72. Okay, our last concept is, instead of the interior angles, what is the sum of the exterior angles? So see this figure here, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is a pentagon. The pentagon has five exterior angles, and this is going to be true for all polygons. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, uh, one angle at each vertex is 360 degrees. Always and forever, no matter the number of sides. So a 22 gone has the sum of 360 on its exterior angles, on the outside. So this pentagon has 360, a 22 gon has 360. No matter what kind of figure it is, the exterior angles sum to 360. So here's our last two examples. So there's our exterior angles. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. This is a a quadrilateral, but it doesn't matter that it's a quadrilateral. All of the exterior angles of any polygon add to 360. So we're going to make our equation by adding them to 360. 2x plus x plus 67 plus 89 is 360. 2x and x is 3x's. 67 and 89 is 156. Minus 156, 3x equals 204, divided by 3, and x equals 68. Pause this video and try the second one on your own. x equals 20. Thank you.